Hi, I'm Jody and I'm back with another challenge from MHS CTF. Very cool CTF. We were solving it. We are, have a very good standing. And I just solved the cryptography green for 30 points, which is a very nice uh, points and only 44 solves. The question is green. I'm green. Da ba da di ba da. And this is a file which you can download. Sometimes these has meanings. Pay attention. Sometimes these has some extra information for you, some nice ideas, some hints. In this case, there wasn't any. Okay, the file is downloaded. It was called 6E7. Most of the time, this doesn't have a meaning. So I will rename it. 6, what was it? 6E7. I will call it, I will rename it to green PNG. Now we have a file. The point is, this is part of the uh, cryptography challenges. So it's very unlikely that something is hidden somewhere in the file or something. It's a cryptographic question. It's not a for example, foreign six or reverse engineering or anything. So we have a file, but again, it's very nice custom to check it with strings. It will show you if there is some string there or check it with OD octal dump and it will show you some content of the sub file or go with show me the characters in it. Nothing interesting. I can do open and open the file. As you can see, it's a PNG of a green line. If we zoom in, you can see that there is a changes in the greenness of the file, different green shaders. This might have a meaning. It's like the coding and I repeat that this is a cryptography challenge. So these Changes should have a cryptographic meaning. It's always good to work in IPython. Easy to work. I want to read the file. If you don't know how to read the file, you can do a search and say read PNG file in Python. You will find different things. I know this and I know that a the pillow is one of the good libraries we have. Pillow is a Python module to work with images so for example i can go here in a reference i can check for example how to read image attributes how to open one how to read one and every other thing you may do i will find the sample to make my life easier i will say okay import the pillow then image pillow open. That would my file green PNG. I want to look into the uh, file. Say my image. The main reason is you saw that green line. It looks like some data is there because it was different shaders of green. So I want to look into the numbers and see how it works. Now I have my file as this. I can say image size. You can see that it's a very long line, 1076 pixels, only one. So it looks like a string of some data. I can also do image get pixel. If you don't know this, you can search here and say pixel access class. Let's search for get pixel. You can get pixel zero and zero. We will read the first possible pixel. Although it should be like this. It's a tuple. And it will tell you that the first pixel has a greenness of 74. As you may know, it's a RGB data. Most of the computer graphics files, normal ones, are RGBs. How much red, how much green, how much blue. 
This pixel, the first pixel, has zero red, zero blue, and 74 green. Let's check the next one. Still this, less green, and as you can go further and further, different shaders of green. What we can do is we can say for i in range of all the pixels we had. What I want, I want to print the image get pixel i and zero. Read that pixel and show it. You can see different pixels with different greens. For me, as a person who is has some experience in cryptography, computers, and everything, these numbers indicate something. These are all alphanumeric numbers on ASCII codes. So this may have a meaning. ASCII codes, you may be familiar with them. Each character has one ASCII code there. So, for example, if you have character uh, 0, its ASCII code is 48. If you have capital letter A, its ASCII code is 65. When you look into these, these all look like ASCII codes. If I have a 10 here, that would be problematic because 10 will be line fit and enter still not very bad but if you have for example a five that would be very bad it's not a printable thing when you look into this i can see like a matrix i can see capital letters and numbers let's try it i will go with the same loop to make my life easier i will say data is this to make it a little bit cleaner and I want only the let's print all of them print data you see everything R G B R and B are zero G is changing so what I will do is say okay my data I'm looking for is the not the zero the first one the second one if you are right, speaking a human numberings so here i have only the reds i can do okay i have this data give me the equivalent character of this see and i can say instead of going to the next line just continue what you were printing this is it if you show this to someone who knows computer codes he or she will notice something very impressive. This consists only of capital letters and numbers. This is a very well-known encoding system which is called Base32. As soon as someone looks at this, and if she knows about computer codings, she will recognize Base32. So this should be converted to base 32. If you don't know it, you can always play with your data, torture it and see how it works. One good tool is CyberChef. It gets some input, will give you some output. I can tell it, okay, when you have this input, give me the whatever data formats. Give me the hex equivalent of each character, okay? It will tell you, okay, this equals this in hex. But I'm looking for base 32. We have different bases. The idea of base 32 is converting some data to only capital letters and numbers. So I will say convert this from base 32. It says, okay, if I do this, this is what you will get. It became shorter and I have some uh, equal signs at the end. This is another signature of bases. Base 32, base 64, 62, 58, all of them do have 
these. So we are in a wrong, we are in a correct direction. What I will do is I will add another base 32. It's not normal when you are doing your normal life to do multiple types of base 32, but in this specific case, it's a challenge. So they have done, done this. It became shorter. I still have this. So I will continue this conversion to base 32 till I reach my final flag dots and dots this is your flag and it was very nice challenge we started from seeing a line green line we said okay these shades of greens are changing maybe there is data there we saw the data we converted to ascii we saw the pattern of bases it looks like base 32 and did base 32 base 32 base 32 and reached the last conclusion for sure, when I was solving it, I was not this fast, but in video, I knew this. I tried base 64 first, then saw, okay, there are no, uh, nothing other than capital letters and numbers. So this is not base 64, tried another basis, and at the end found out it's base 32. Anyway, this is the flag. If you want to study, this is a nice question. Also, Cyberchef is a very nice tool. We will submit the flag. I have already done this. And no, this is what's cooking. It's another question. This was our question. What's cooking I have also solved, but it only had uh, 10 points. So it was not that difficult. I just forget about it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Play with Cyberchef. Also, Cyberchef is one of the tools that many, many people who solved cryptographic challenges use. Also, make yourself familiar with crypto cryptographic cryptography and codings, ASCII codings, bases, and other stuff. Enjoy whatever you are learning. This was Jody. Hope you enjoyed. Sorry for bad English, but I'm doing my Best, not my best doing so so.